My family now has enough food. This is so different from before because everyone is now healthy. I was able to start a grocery store using the money I made from the Dimbas. I bought items little by little. In these last few years, I've been able to buy so many things that benefit my home. One of these is livestock. I own goats and chickens. Our children are doing so much better in school. My son has just written exams and is waiting to go to Form 1. The village of Mandama in the south of Malawi was one of the worst affected by the drought in 2005. Mwandama and surrounding communities, with a population of more than 35,000, became the country's first millennium villages. The objective of the Millennium Villages project is to support rural households escape the poverty trap. Like in the national program, farmers were given the means to produce more food. All of Mwandama's farmers received enough fertilizer and improved maize seeds to plant half a hectare, the average farm size in the area. And for three seasons, they achieved double the national average yield. In return for these inputs, farmers contributed maize to a school meal program. <laughs> Here at school, the children have porridge. This helps with their concentration because they're not constantly hungry. Absenteeism has also decreased. This season, the hard-working farmers of Mwandama have again seen their fields turn green. The results have astounded and inspired a community whose previous goal was simply to survive. And with the attainment of food security, farmers have begun to reap the benefits of surplus production. There's been so much change. There was never money here before during the times that we were struggling. But now, because we have enough food, money is available. As a result, we are building houses and making so many other plans for the future. At Mandama, we have a grain bank and we have installed at the moment, 12,000 bags of maize, which has been contributed by the farmers. And the total value of that is about 50 million Malawi kwacha. By producing more than enough food for their household needs, the people of Mwandama have extra cash to improve their quality of life and to invest in new enterprises. Most of Mwandama households have achieved the food security. That's why we've seen them selling the surplus at the local markets. And this has enabled them to buy the assets they were in need of. From the sales of my produce, 
I bought livestock, a phone, and items for the grocery store. I've been able to buy clothes, bicycles, even a cell phone and a TV, all this in the last two years. Low-lying fields called Bimbas were often left idle during the cooler, drier months. But this land has moisture when the rest of the landscape is parched and dry. With income from the maize harvests, Mandama farmers have the resources to make these dimbas more productive. The people have invested part of their extra income in the dimbas by buying the inputs which they require in the dimbas. The dimbas are simply wetlands. The farmers here use these dimbas to grow some high value crops. These are mainly vegetables, like leafy vegetables, we are talking of cabbages, rape, mustard, and there are some high-value crops like tomatoes, onions, and maize, which is sold as a green in the dry season. <laughs> In the beginning, we'd harvest the tomatoes green, wait for them to ripen, and then take them to sell to the market. But nowadays, because of the high demand, we don't even have to go to the market anymore. Customers are now coming to us. They buy them green and sell them later when they ripen.